so we are just going to create a new variable called uh, probably float max speed equals to three. Um, so the max speed is um, going to limit um, our speed so we don't uh, uh, move uh, in, in infinitely fast. So we're going to limit our speed. Um, and we are going to do that by saying if rv2d.velocity.x is bigger than max speed then we're going to set the to max speed Oops. um Oh, we need to uh, do this first. I'm going to set it to new vector to um, max speed and just the r2d dot velocity dot y. So what this does is, if our velocity dot x, which is the speed on the x-axis is uh, over max speed we're going to set the velocity to max speed um, so yeah let's just see what happens now um, <laughs> yeah you can see our speed is limited but we're also going to uh, set it uh, on the negative thing. So we're going to check if rb2d.velocity.x is less than minus max speed. Then we are going to say rb2d.velocity equals new vector 2 max minus max speed because we are moving backward or to the left and just rb2d.velocity.y so we also can so it doesn't affect the the y-axis um so yeah that's um that's it for limiting the uh, speed so i'm just going to say the speed of the player um moving the player and now we're going to set the uh, the parameters in the animator here so you can see them those here um so the way we are going to do that is going into our script again and adding one more reference to a to a component on our player which is the animator um, just can find that animate there we go just call it anim and we are going to set it to game object that get component animator so um what we are going to do is set the uh, what do we do? We're going to say anim.set bool. Uh, you can see when we press set. Oh, yeah, say set. Uh, you can see we can set uh, integer set bool float, which is these things here. This is a float and that is a boolean. So, um, um, so we're going to say anim.set bool um, we are first going to set the um, what do we say grounded which is our boolean here um, yeah I guess that's it isn't it oh 
Wait a minute, I, I forgot. We have to specify which thing we want to to set. So it is, what is it named? It's named grounded with a capital G. So now we are going to set the boolean in here to the grounded one, which is this one. And we are going to set the float, which is the speed. Uh, we are going to set that to our speed in our script. Uh, no, 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 no. Um, this is a uh, little confusing maybe, but we are going to set it to input dot get access. Um, uh, what was it? A uh, horizontal. Yeah, uh, but we have to say um, math f dot abs uh, absolute, which is uh, uh, which does if the uh, output of this is uh, positive or neg I mean negative, it'll be positive. So. Uh, it it is only a positive number that will come out of this, um, so that will just be easier for us to check if we are moving or not. So yeah, that's basically it for for the movement animation. Um, so I think I'm going to split this video up. Yeah, it's at 17 minutes now. Um. I guess I'm splitting up to two parts, but uh, now we're going to uh, try it out, I guess. Yeah. You can see we are idling and apparently in the air because we haven't set the grounded variable yet. So the way I do the grounded thing is uh, by creating a new script called uh, ground check uh, and then we are going to create a new ga empty game object and put it uh, uh, parent it to our player and set the position to zero and move it down to its feet and add a box collider like this Yep, and set it is trigger, so it doesn't actually collide, but triggers when it hits something. I'm just gonna call it ground check. Um, so in ground check, we are going to say um, actually delete these. We are going to create a uh, add a new reference, which is going to be a private player uh, player, which is the script. This is the script player, so we reference to a player, so we can access these uh, uh, variables, and we, then we are going into void start going to reference it so player is equal to game object dot get component in parent player because we just added this empty game object to the player and the player is the parent so we're going to get this script from the player and then we are going to say void uh, on trigger enter 2d um, collider 2D just call and void on trigger exit 2D collider call oh so what this does is on trigger enter it's pretty straightforward it uh, gets called when the trigger enters something 
and then trigger exit gets called when the trigger exits something. So we're just going to say on trigger enter if we are colliding with something or the ground check object is colliding with something, we are going to say player dot grounded equals true. Um, and then when we exit something, play grounded false. So that's pretty straightforward. And now it should work. Just need to assign the script. Yeah. Um. So yeah, there you see the uh, grounded parameter just uh, get that checked. So now we can see the animation place. Um, oh wait, wait a minute. What's this? If the speed is less than greater than, why does my computer lag? It's probably because of the recording program. But um, oh yeah, I forgot something. We're going to flip the sprite. Um, so in the update method in the player script, we're going to say if oh if input get axis horizontal is greater than zero point one, then we are going to set um, transform dot local scale equals to new vector 3 um, um, so this is oh when we are moving to the left set it to minus 1 uh, and then we're going to copy it and paste it one time and instead of minus 0 0.1 it's going to positive and instead of less and greater and then we're going to set it to 1 um, so yeah, let's see what happens now and then you can see that our player actually turns around Which is pretty cool. Um, so let me see what. Uh, oh, this is a problem with my Unity, not with the scripts. So I think that wraps it up for this episode. Or for these episodes, if there was more. Um, so I'm just gonna stop now and say. Thank you for watching and uh, please subscribe and visit my website and yeah, goodbye.